There's no middle ground with Furbies. Either you love them or you think they should die in an eternal fire. No middle ground at all. So this little robotic demon spawn is called a Furby. It was a robotic toy for children made in 1998 by Tiger Electronics. Now it's not exactly a sentient AI, it's more of just a bunch of sensors. It's a bunch of mechanisms that are controlled by sensors and a motor. It was the closest thing as a kid you could get to sentient AI. You can actually sometimes still find these under your bed, in your nightmares, and also on eBay. I'm going to show you how to control the individual mechanisms in this so you can make your own Furby TikToks or your Furby Instagram page. Oh my god, so cute. Oh my god. A little fanny on no. her. Oh my god. So maybe you're like, Kevin, why would I want to hack a Furby? Well, there's plenty of reasons. Maybe your wife left you for a Furby collector and it's your prime goal to spite them by going viral on TikTok with your own Furby. Maybe you want to start a satanic cult of Furby fandom on Instagram. Maybe you want to use memes to expose the hellscapes of capitalism to brainwash our kids into communism. Maybe you want your favorite Twitch political commentator to read your messages in chat. Hassan, please send me the animatronic Santa. There are so many online communities with Furbies too. Uh, you can go on Instagram and just go on the Furby hashtag and you'll see people living out their lives as if a Furby is taking Instagram photos or, or a Furby is actually reenacting some of the sounds you see on TikTok. Um, but they don't really have them word out the actions of it. Usually it's just a puppetry with hands or just camera angles. Uh, we're going to change that today, I think. Yes. Yes, yes, we are, we are. One unfortunate problem about the Furby is that all the mechanisms are controlled under one motor. That only allows you to be able to control one mechanism at a time, which is a problem because what if you want to make the Furby say independent things instead of just circling in a robotic fashion or a, a continual fashion that, that won't work with the Furbies. The first thing you want to do is remove its skin so you can get it ready for the blood god. With its skin removed, you can now start the process of removing the Furby's internal organs. I recommend wearing headphones to counteract the sound of the Furby's screaming, which can damage your ears. So the centralized gear system was the main thing I needed to remove to make sure the mouth, eyes, and ears are free. I installed the spring mechanism to make sure the mouth returns to its original state. And there you have it folks, an independent mouth moving mechanism on the Furby using a motor pulley system. I might make one for the ears and the eyes, which are going to be a lot easier. I also created a motor controller to be able to activate the Furby's motors. Um, I'll have the schematics and code in the video description. Hey Alexa, meow like a cat. Okay, here's box of cats. Tell me a joke. I was gonna tell you a sock joke, but it stinks. Oh my god. Should we eat the rich or not eat the rich? You should eat the rich. What is demonic possession? According to Wikipedia, Spirit possession is an unusual or altered state of consciousness and associated behaviors purportedly caused by the control of a human body by spirits, ghosts, demons, or gods. The concept of spirit possession exists. So think AI. Think the future of home automation. Think using the cloud. Think innovation. Think novelty, all right? Okay, you still with me? Okay, okay, now. Take a Furby and grind it to an Alexa. Hello? Hello? Marcus, hey! Have I the next idea of home automation for you, okay? So think novelty, think artificial intelligence, okay? You still with me? Okay, okay, so we take a Furby and... Uh, hello? Obviously, I took the same technology I used with the Alexa Billy Mouth Bass and just me fused it with the Furby, with uh, having to repurpose the Furby's mechanisms. Maybe in the future, Tiger Electronics might come out with some sort of Furby for the future that would sync up to Alexa. That'd be kind of cool, right? 
Maybe I'm giving him the idea for free. Maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe, but I think there's like a novelty in a lot of the older electronics that maybe fuses with today's electronics. That'd be kind of cool to intersect those two things. Maybe a little bit. The Furby is a weird uh, creature in that sense that it kind of always stares at you. I kind of have to store these in a lockbox. Yeah, overall, the Furby was a fun project. I had fun making the Furby. Hopefully, it's a good experience to you. Thank you for watching. If you think this is a good video, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any good ideas, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll do them. I have like at least two brain cells in my head. I can probably make another video. I gotta check. I, I, I probably wrote them down somewhere. Yeah, anyway, peace. I'm really bad at this stuff. I'm just gonna go. Charlie. Look at this. Can you believe we hit 100K in like a month of me posting shorts? Why? How? I just, I'm so thankful for the community behind YouTube to give me this award. Oh my God, it's so cool. I've never thought I would get an award like this. You know, I just hit 1 million followers on TikTok also. Um, so that's just a great accomplishment for me. Uh, thank you to everyone who had comment or watched my videos or enjoyed the content I make. I, I've gotten some great feedback from people. People that be like, man, your content made my day. And that's, that's just something that really gets me up in the morning and makes me happy to make content like this. So uh, feel free to always leave a comment and let me know how my videos affect you. Like it really helps me figure out what I'm doing with this. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Video. Oh my god, you have so many followers. Oh my gosh, you are so cool. Yes.